I want to ask, when does defender Timothy Lilgren make the Toronto Maple Leafs? And this is an interesting question because depending on who you ask, the general consensus is that he will most likely be ready by the time 1920 rolls around. Coming into 1819, he's expected to be an AHL guy, maybe get a call up once in a while in the middle of the season or towards the end, and 1920 is when he's really going to be able to showcase himself in a Toronto Maple Leaf sweater. I believe that's the general consensus here, and it's the expectation as to what should happen for the Toronto Maple Leafs 2017-17th overall pick. Lilligren was one of those guys who at the beginning of the 2016-17 season was highly touted as being one of the top end talents. And I remember even going back to 2016 in the middle of the year, guys were saying that Lilligren was going to challenge for a top 3, top 4 spot. But as the year went on, Lilligren just didn't end up remaining in that spot and he ended up dropping in the rankings and ultimately was drafted 17th by the Maple Leafs. And now, after he signed a contract and everything, he spent the most recent season with the Toronto Marlies, in a very media-high presence of a team. He played 44 games, grabbed himself a goal and 16 assists, 17 total points for the 19-year-old defenseman, who just turned 19, by the way, this past April. And now, going into the new season, there are a certain set of things that it is generally agreed upon that Lilligren needs to work on in order to make the team in the upcoming seasons. Lilligren was a guy who, upon being drafted, was heavily revered for his skating. And his skating is elite, but it's not really elite in the way that people would say it is. He's got fantastic edgeworks, the way he's able to curve the insides of his skates into making turns, the way he's able to edge himself away from guys, his lateral movement is all incredible, it's just that his top end speed isn't necessarily all too good. And the fact of the matter is here, people who are watching Lilligren skate wouldn't necessarily notice it all too much, because he doesn't have the speed that a quote-unquote elite skater would be expected to having. Although... Every other aspect of his skating is definitely very highly praised for a reason, because he's really good at it. His offensive capabilities, while present, aren't necessarily the flashiest out there. He was drafted as a skilled offensive D-man with great puck handling abilities, but playing with the Marlies this season, he exhibited more of a safe, two-way defender kind of game in the sense that he was good at breaking the puck out, but not in the flashy kind of Cali Rosen kind of way. Lilligren was a guy who made the safe play the majority of the time, and although it didn't lead to a good amount of points, at least in what people were expecting out of him, it did lead to a solid 17 points in these 44 games. Because when he did play in the Roggle BK back in the SHL in his draft year, he did only get 5 points in 19 games. The amount of flair that Lilligren has shown over the past few years isn't necessarily to the best degree, but, at the same time, he's a player who has been getting better. And a full season in the AHL in the top two role would definitely cement that for the right-handed Swedish defenseman. Going into 2019-20, this is the year after next season, the ideal situation would be to replace Hainsey on the blue line of the Leafs, seeing as Lilligren can play on that right side. But taking things a step at a time, one more year in the AHL is all Lilligren needs, in my opinion, to really cement that NHL quality game within this player. He's already 6 feet, 192 pounds, so he's got a good frame. All that's left to work on is everything around that. And Lilligren was a guy who was drafted really high for a reason, because he's got talent, and he exhibited that in the Marlies season this past year. He wasn't the best defender in the playoff run, that's for sure. But he's a player who definitely has that upside still, and is just going to be working to getting that improved. Because you got to remember, he was one of the youngest players in the AHL last season, and nothing can take away from the fact that he still looked like he belonged, despite being significantly younger than the majority of the competition. So to answer the question, when does Lilligren make the Leafs? I already said it at the beginning of the video, most preferably in 2019-20. Unless, of course, Lilligren does have an amazing training camp, and he does make the team right out of camp for 2018-19, and he blows all expectations out of the water, that would be incredible, but in my opinion, it's not likely. One more full year of AHL development 
most preferably in a top 2 role, would do wonders for this kid. Hope you guys enjoyed this video for plus, and thanks for watching Gaming, and bye. <laughs>